Good morning. Okay, so where am I, Gemini? We're going to do the monthly readings. Gemini, this is your reading for September 2023. September 2023 for my Gemini lovers. I'm MJ. Feel free to check the internet for more info. Uh, mainly, if you resonate, feel free to book a private reading. Let's see what we get, Gemini. So there could be a new beginning, a very healing. Uh, this is, I mean, I do feel this is a new beginning, but it's very intentional. It's something that you're likely like consciously manifesting. New beginning. I feel like you've likely been intuitively guided throughout this new beginning. And for some of you, uh, there could be a move. Um, moving house, getting a new car. This is after, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing this, like, sleepless nights, instability, exhaustion. For some of you, there could just be this exhaustion happening in your life right now. Um, and for some of you... Yeah, I mean, okay, so there's... The move, the higher friend, the dissolution. Some of you could be closing the door in a relationship, a romantic relationship. Um, <clears throat> okay, so if you've been dating casually, some of you are like, actually, I'm not really into this situation. I'm going to, I fancy so-and-so and I want to go offer them a cup of love. Or, unfortunately, somebody's done this to you. Like, yay, let's date. Oh, actually, I've met somebody. Um, but thanks, kind of thing. Because somebody that you've maybe been dating or somebody that you felt kind of like a decent loving connect, not decent, like a good loving connection with is, is walking away and then you're moving. So like you might have lived with this person. I'm not sure. Whoopsie daisy. I would say as well that... <clears throat> There's a lot of people, um, and you know, it's summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so I'm kind of getting that sense of like, you know what, I, th I feel like this is all good and you might just be reinvigorating your dating sense of things. And like straight up, if someone has walked away, it's because it wasn't... It, it just wasn't anything anyway, right? Because this king that's further afield that is likely the one who's walked away is not, uh, probably not telling the truth fully, actually. And for some of you, even still, this person leaving or just walking away has possibly catapulted you into a bit of a hermit mode, not not expressing a whole bunch, going within, reflecting, right? F especially that nine of sword and nine of wands, I would dare say you're having to let stuff go. You're, the, the universal forces are forcing you to kind of be still, let go of stuff, go within hermit mode, go within to rectify your own sense of self, your own heart and your own direction, because I see these different directions and for, I was out for a walk with my mom recently and she reminded me of that movie. The, there was a movie called Runaway Bride with, I believe, Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. And the, he, anyway, she reminded me of this bit about, so he plays a journalist who's ends up doing, who's, who's employed to cover her because she's now known as this runaway bride. She leaves men at the altar. And one of these scenes was him asking her about how she likes her eggs. And it was something like her her preference for eggs was always whatever the dude she was with. And what that reflects to us is like relationships don't work when we don't have our individual sense of self. 
And so this Ace of Sword, I feel for some of you, not all obviously, is helping you take a new beginning to know your own mind, to know your own intuition. And in the interim right now, this looks to be a singular journey. There's one person in the star card, one person in high priestess, one sword, one person in that eight of swords. So I think for now, maybe there's, I know, like you might, you might be buying a car, you might be moving house. There's definitely a bit of shifting in movement. I dare say at least one person or you are cutting something, walking away. This isn't working. I'm exhausted. I'm mentally frazzled. Like, I can't, almost like this sense of like, I just don't have the room to date right now. Or I don't have the mental, emotional energy to date or offer a potential other partner anything. So I'm going to just focus on me, focus on my new beginning, focus on my healing and trusting that evolutionary journey. Definitely some hermit mode could do you some good because that sense of so and then another layer if you're in like a positive established connection is that if you're overly exhausted, overly tired, not sleeping well, working too much, your partner might, it might be like, uh, what's up? Are we ever going to see each other or are you seeing someone else? You, you know, like they might think that all this work is something else. So be aware, make sure there's a kind of clear communication. It might just be, again, if you're in an established bond, it might simply be that you need a bit of time away. That's like so often I think we we can make rash decisions. I know I've been there myself, but we can make these really impulsive decisions when, when actually as intimate, whether friendship, professional or romantic, or familial for that matter, it's we don't need to just finish the whole thing and be done with each other it's just that we need space time out break uh and not not even break in that way just i'm gonna go home and rest and be by myself for a day or two days or three days whatever and then we'll see each other at the weekend or or something right but this is like I, however, what I'm, what I'm sensing here, Gemini, is this isn't per, this isn't necessarily to do with the, the heart partner. This is more to do with energy, mental cycles, and then the working, whatever is going on creatively, mentally, energetically, uh, like just the simplicity for some of you, you might just have a lot going on work-wise. It's that simple and you're tired and through the exhaustion or through the busyness of the working life. There's a little bit of rumble going on in the noggin, right? As far as like, I'm anxiety, I've got this, I've got this. That is putting a strain on the love life. Simple. And that strain could have the other person or you being like, what the F is going on? And there again, communication can bring back the love for sure. Yeah, Page of Cups, message, share, I love you, I care for you, I just don't have the time right now, whatever, right? There is an energy here, which I know is challenging, right? But there's there's this energy coming through for the collective around, yo, go with the flow, <laughs> don't rush things, don't force it. Go with the flow. Things are going to leave our lives. Some things are going to come into our lives. At this point, none of us are in control. There's a discernment, right? All this manifestation, resmataz, the manifest our best life. Which, all of it, I mean, all of it, I just sort of have that open-mindedness of all is valid. Uh, or not, right? But, like, you create your own reality. Mm-hmm. As far as, like, we are conscious creators, obviously. We have hands, we have eyes, right? Uh, but control is a different thing. <sighs> and having to control, especially when it comes from a place of fear, that's not manifestation vibration, lovers. The manifestation is like a pure kind of openness from the heart space that comes from the divine, you know, in our inner inspirational eye. And it's truly, truly miraculous. Whereas like micromanaging our, our reality and everybody in it and trying to micromanage our diet and everything in it and try to like, that's not manifestation. I know it sucks because <laughs> we all want to know, right? Like we all want to like, I know, I 
no. Oh, fuck it. I don't know. I don't know anything. Uh, but the cards are fun and it's great to connect with you guys on the internet. I hope that you enjoyed that uh, reading. I'm going to leave it there because just because. <laughs> hope you have a great day, you guys. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Peace out.